2. Listen. A. Listen to two students talking about something that happened at school. Where did it take place? Where did this thing happen? Did it happen in the science lab? This is the science lab where students can make experiments. Or did it happen in the school campus? School campus is not the school building, well, it's, it's the outside, it's outside the school building. Or A, this appears to be the school's library. So this thing that happened in the school, where did it happen? In which place? You choose. And before I play the recording, as usual, we will read these statements, and after we listen to the recording, we will decide which statement is true and which statement is false. One, Sam, Sam is a name, just like Ahmad Ali. Sam doesn't usually have science lessons with Mr. Jackson. So, is Mr. Jackson the usual teacher who teaches Sam science? Or does he take science lessons with different teacher? Two, Sam saw all of the experiments. They were having an experiment, but did Sam see all of the experiment, or he missed part of it? This is a science experiment. 3. The noise wasn't very loud. Noise is a unpleasant sound. Noise is unpleasant sound. Sound that is annoying. Wasn't very loud, wasn't very, very high. It was quiet. 4. Everyone at the school heard the noise. True or false? 5. Two things caught fire during the experiment. Caught fire means was burning. Two things were burning during the experiment. 6. Mr. Jackson wasn't hurt. He, w he wasn't injured in the accident. Accident uh, is something bad that happens unexpectedly. Nobody planned for it. It's just a bad thing that happened. Nobody meant for it to happen. 7. Sam put out the fire. Sam was the one who stopped the fire. Was it Sam or was it someone else? Now let's listen and find out. Hello Jack! Hi, Sam. Did you hear about that fire at school today? Of course I did. I was there. We were having science with Mr Jackson. I thought Mr Broad was your science teacher. He was ill today. Anyway, he wanted to show us this big experiment, so we had to go outside. Yes, I saw you. I was in the library. I wondered where you were going. I missed the beginning of the experiment because I didn't have my notebook and had to go back to the science lab to get it. But as soon as I went back outside, there was a loud noise. Really loud. I think the whole school heard it. Anyway, the experiment went wrong and Mr Jackson's jacket caught fire. Was he hurt? No, he was fine. But he took it off and threw it onto a bush. Oh no! You guessed it. The bush caught fire too. Mr Jackson was screaming. Stand back! Stand back! Were you scared? Not really. I didn't hear the fire alarm. It wasn't a very big fire, really. I think Mr Jackson just panicked. Anyway, some other teachers came and put the fire out, and it was all over very quickly. That was quite a lesson. Yes, it was. OK, were you able to find out where did this incident happen? in which place in the school were you able to decide which statement is true and which is not if yes good for you if no follow me here is the listening transcript we will read it ourselves and then we will clarify the words inside boxes words and phrases from the top hello jack hi sam did you hear about that fire at school today there was a fire at school. Did you hear about it? Did someone tell you about it? Of course I did. I was there.
You don't need to tell me because I was part of the story. We were having science with Mr. Jackson. Okay, who was teaching this lesson? Mr. Jackson. Oh, I thought Mr. Broad was your science teacher. Isn't Mr. Broad is the one who teaches you science? Yes. He was ill. He was sick. He wasn't able to come to school. This is why we took this lesson with Mr. Jackson. So usually Mr. Jackson isn't the one who teaches Sam science. It's Mr. Broad. But he was ill that day. He was sick. Anyway, he wanted to show us this big experiment. So we had to go outside. So where were they? Were they in the science lab? Were they in the library? Or were they in the school campus? They went outside, outside, outside. So they were in the school campus. Yes, I saw you. I was in the library. Okay, they didn't do the experiment in the library. Jack was in the library. Jack was not part of the story. I wondered where you were going. I wondered means I asked myself where you were going. I missed the beginning of the experiment. I missed, that means I didn't attend the beginning of the experiment. I was late. And the reason for that, I didn't have my notebook. A notebook is a, a book which is empty. It's for you to write notes. And had to go back to the science lab to get it. So the experiment didn't happen in the science lab. Sam had to go back to the science lab to get his notebook, not to attend the experiment. The experiment was outside, and Sam didn't see the beginning of the experiment because he was in the science lab getting his notebook. But as soon as I went back, that means as soon as he went outside, there was a loud noise. People were screaming really loud, very loud. I think the whole school heard it. Everybody heard it. Anyway, the experiment went wrong. Thing didn't go as planned. Something was wrong. And Mr. Jackson's jacket caught fire. Mr. Jackson's jacket started burning. Was he hurt? Was he injured? No, he was fine. But he took it off and threw it onto a bush. This is a bush, like a small tree. He took off the jacket and he threw it on a bush. Guess what happened next? Oh no! Do you see this exclamation mark? That means, what do you think happened after you throw a burning jacket on a bush? Definitely the bush will start burning itself. You guessed it. You're right. What you were thinking was right. The bush caught fire too. So not only the jacket was burning, even the bush started burning. So two things were burning. The jacket and the bush. Mr. Jackson was screaming. He wasn't speaking normally. He was screaming. That means he was raising his voice. Stand back! Stand back! Because it's dangerous. Fire at school. He was afraid that someone might get hurt. Were you scared? Were you afraid? Were you scared? No, not really. I didn't hear the fire alarm. This is the fire alarm. It makes a very loud noise when there is fire at school. Maybe they didn't hear the alarm because the alarm is installed inside the school and the experiment took place outside the school building, right? So maybe this is why they didn't hear the alarm. It wasn't very big fire, really. I think Mr. Jackson just panicked. When you panic, you are very scared and you don't know what to do. Anyway, some other teachers came and put out the fire and put the fire out. That means they stopped the fire. They extinguished the fire. And it was all over very quickly. Oh, that was quite a lesson. What a lesson it was. That was a day to remember. 
Yes, it was. Okay. Now, where did it happen? It happened outside the school building, in the school campus. Sam doesn't usually have science lessons with Mr. Jackson. Is this true? Yes, Mr. Broad is the usual teacher. But he was sick, he was ill that day. This is why Mr. Jackson took over. 2. Sam saw all of the experiment. He didn't miss any part. Wrong. False. He went to the science lab to get his notebook. This is why he missed the first part of the experiment. 3. The noise wasn't very loud. False. Almost everybody heard the noise, so it was very loud. The whole school heard it. 4. Everyone at school heard the noise. True, because it was very loud. 5. Two things caught fire during the experiment. True, the jacket and the bush caught fire. 6. Mr. Jackson wasn't hurt, he wasn't injured in the accident. It's true, yes, his jacket caught fire, but he took it off and threw it onto a bush. He was okay. 7. Sam put out the fire. No, Sam did nothing. Some other teachers came and put out the fire. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you next time. Inshallah. Goodbye.